Hello, we are back with your regularly scheduled Halloween programming. Today we have an easy one. It is SFX, but it's a great place to start. You don't need any SFX experience to do this one. It's going to be rather interesting. Shall we get started? I think so. Let's go. Let's also zoom you in just a little bit closer because you are far away. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. There. Now you're closer. Now I can see you or more you can see me. What am I doing? That's a very good question. First step, we're going to make ourselves look a little bit sickly. Yeah. Let's go. Okay, to start, take a light matte pinky blush and apply it under the eyes. This gives them a swollen, irritated look. You can do this with a brush or your fingers, whichever one you like. Now that we look kind of sick and kind of tired, on to the SFX part. This bit will be quick and easy. Believe me, I had to do this in the back of a moving bus before. So, let's move on. Step one, make your lips look cracked. Do this by scrunching your lips up and dabbing on either tinted powder or a light foundation. Then take black eyeshadow and smudge it on with your fingers. Now, I didn't like my first application, so I removed it and had a better idea. Being Apply the eyeshadow to my lips, then the scrunchy lip thing for an even grosser looking cracked lips. Then I smudge the eyeshadow around from my lips to my chin. Okay, now that we look even weirder, we are going to move on to the fun part, which is we are stitching our mouth closed. I will not be talking any further after this due to the fact that you can't talk through this thing. Trust me. Tried that before. Didn't work. So if you are going out, either make your stitches long enough that they can allow you to open your mouth enough to at least talk um, or make it even more fun stitch your mouth closed and then just stretch it open so that all the stitches pop believe me it looks weird moving on so this bit is easy, but a little time consuming. Using lash glue, apply the ends of whatever string you're using to wherever you want them to go. If you're doing this in the back of a moving bus, you're going to want stiffer, thicker string. Now, since I have twice mentioned the back of the moving bus thing, here's an image. Mm-hmm.
Once the string is on, apply some scab blood to the glue. This will make it look a little bit more like the string has actually passed through your flesh. Then if you want to, add some fake blood to the string and a little to the scab blood. Alright, once done, you can easily hide this with a mask. A non-medical disposable mask works just fine. Maybe better because of the blood you'll get on it. I apparently gave myself enough room to be able to talk with these things on. Huzzah! Because when I first did this, I literally had to talk like this. Because there was no room. For the hand, I literally just covered it in black eyeshadow. Anyway, that's it. Hope you enjoyed! Enjoy Halloween, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hello everyone, I'm back with the regular... That did not go well. And I'm back with your regularly scheduled programming! I am completely flubbing this intro. Is this even a proper intro? I'm going to switch this a little bit around just a little. So, today will be a. light? Easy. I'm unfortunate. <laughs> I can't seem to talk! I am very disjointed today, aren't I? Good for bloopers. Step one. S step. Then I smudge the eyeshadow around from my lips to the feet. <laughs> Once the string is on, Once the string is on, apply some scab blood to the glue. What the hell am I doing with my voice? Hello. Goodbye. Interrupting sibling. <laughs>